The hair looks like this right now. And um, yeah, so this is me trying to penetrate it with my finger. My hair is lost. And don't you, wouldn't you be happy as heck if you had your hand look like this all the time? So let's see what we can do. Usually put it down like this. And then I just go. Flash almost straight. And this one is drill locks. This is how you get drill locks, man. It's very easy and simple. Watch this video, whole video to learn. my wife right here guys don't think it's a random lady okay she what that wasn't it uh -huh. sorry okay. okay uh today we got a uh <laughs> not the old hair boy give me a neck <laughs> don't call me that. sorry she did this on purpose for this video <laughs> let's, just, let's just say it that way and uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys this Congo that she got going on. She wants to get a dreads and she's, she just wanna take it on a route that uh, is just gonna tangle itself up to death, basically, till something dies in there. <laughs> and so, yeah, let's scoot you a little bit. The hair looks like this right now. Is this your hair or is this fake? That's my hair. So this is her hair, guys, uh, real hair. I know it kind of looks fake because how good it looks, but sometimes straight hair or wavy about what, 3A, 3B? Where is yours? Yeah, that's good. 3A, 3B, uh, when it's left alone without just like, you know, combing in and different things, automatically starts to lock up. So for those of you guys that always be asking me, can I lock up my hair, even though my hair is a 3A, 3B? You can see from here, you can uh, literally witness dread. When I say dread, I mean dread. Right here you see very, 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 very like, wind up together almost as if it was done with a uh some sort of tool i guess maybe and uh yeah so this is me trying to penetrate it with my finger and kind of can have a hard time kind of like getting there man for those of you guys that want to lock up your hair uh the way she kind of did it is that she washed it really good uh conditioned it and everything and she basically like twisted it like this and then she kind of like wrapped it around to kind of make it a ponytail and that was like her go-to hairstyle the ponytail it's like a uh like if you have time and stuff like that kind of like end up doing things like that to your hair and your hair just naturally starts locking itself up previously whenever she washed it it, it expanded her air, hair out because when you put mist in the hair or water in the hair it basically kind of like starts to penetrate through it and it starts giving you that flow of air or water so it basically makes it expand and once it dries up you know the moisture is not there and so now it's just like tying itself up so from expanding onto a compact mode once the air or the water is sucked out of it and uh you get this dread look to it and this is crazy like what and so i'm kind of gonna start combing it out and show you also how to comb this thing out the thing with the uh, straight hair is that it's easier to comb out than a wavy pattern or a uh, 4a 4b 4c pattern this is a like i said 3a 3b so it's much easier it's much a little bit straighter so not as hard as long as you put some kind of moisture in there uh, it's easier you guys have known when i try to comb out my hair yeah it's just like I almost lost half of my hair but this one you're able actually to lose some hair but not that much hair and uh and uh yeah i think that we're gonna lose enough but i was not gonna be as much as dreads babes trust me trust me this is a wavy hair there's no way you're gonna lose that much hair your hair is curly it's not coily your hair is wavy no my hair is curly it's just not coily okay all right guys i'm gonna show y'all how to kind of lock up your hair 
If you have a wavy hair, this is for 3A, 3B, 3C type of hair. You guys got like your little, you know, sectioned out and stuff like that. Of course, she's not going to lock up her hair. Come on now, guys. There's two right here. Boom. And so you got your section and usually your section, you don't want it thicker than this. Uh, if you go about thicker than this, the only thing you'll deal with is much more harder time to locking it up with the crochet needle or even uh, dealing with the fizz and the fur that's going to keep coming out of it. But as long as you just like section it out pretty nice, pretty neat and, uh, you know, twist it and do the things that you're supposed to hey man you're gonna have dreads in no time man no worries my mans okay and for those of you guys that already have locked up hair uh this is a perfect way also to learn how to crochet needle it and palm roll it because that's the method that i'm gonna use today that's an easy very easy method so you can just cop at uh, greatlogs.com they sell these uh, i think they might be on uh sale right now just go check them out so now you have the hair ready you're gonna start locking this thing up. You know what I mean? It's very easy. You just go in with the crochet needle at a very angle, I would say. Sometimes you can just go like that to start forming the main dread inside because you just need a, a main root first to kind of like hold you accountable for the rest of them. So you kind of start doing some work on this thing. And what I usually do is I, I usually just roll it as I go so that I can grab some more hair from one side to the other side to the other side to the other side. And so my goal is basically to lock up the rest of these. So let's get it. It's not going to take me that long. So guys, this is where it's starting to look like, right here where I locked it up. Yeah, I'm gonna keep working my way down so that I can show you guys even how to blunt your tips whenever you have straight hair and so that you guys can just have a perfect set of locks. See how the fizz is kind of going away, kind of like disappearing as I kept on forming the dreads. And it's because of this tool really, and I'm not like snatching it really badly. But sometimes when you crochet needle in it, you end up just breaking the hair instead of just pulling the hair. And that's, you create small piece of hair sticking out just on each side. Uh, but if you actually just like pull them in instead and don't go too rough on them, I think you'll be able to have a good sets of locks with wavy or curly hair or even straight hair to be honest with you because the, the wavy and curly hair are the closest uh, pattern to straight hair so you can learn one things or two if you have straight hair from here uh, i know straight hair is a little bit harder to handle uh, when it comes to the looks of it and uh you know the neatness of it usually looks end up looking messy and different things but trust me guys if you guys know what you guys are looking for and you guys have like you know somebody that you have seen with straight hair that done it and everything you're able to do it who, who can stop you man who can tell you not to do it man don't hear those crappy people that tell you you can't do it because you have straight hair it's not meant for that but that's very crappy you know what i mean that's very disgusting for people to say that you can't get a hairstyle because of your ethnicity or your hair pattern uh guess what you know we all human beings we all bleed blue right right babs mm -hmm. yeah blue. we all bleed blue man okay so now you kind of got the you know the dread going on right here i haven't palm rolled it yet or anything like that this is what it looks like with just one minute work and uh you know if you put more time to it of course you're gonna end up just locking the mess out of it and you will have a amazing sets of locks okay now that you're you're al almost at the end uh you want to use some different techniques to kind of start blunting the tip so what i'm gonna do is i'm kind of like gonna roll these out and you can just leave, leave it like that for something like that and try to like you know bend it like that and do it but i'm gonna use this technique right here that i've never tried before and so I'm gonna just go like that. Um, what I did was wrap it quite together like that and then I kind of like folded it at the end and kind of wrapped it around the rest of the dreads. So now it looks like looks like this. So this is gonna be the end of it. And don't you wouldn't you be happy as heck if you had your end look like this all the time? So let's see what we can do. So I'm gonna come against it or from the opposite side and pull it in to see what I can get inside the form the dread. Usually when you blend your tips, uh, you have to end up folding it or doing some kind of um, combining type of situation. Uh, but for every hair is different. It might be sometimes you just got to ch 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 You know what I mean? Uh, but it's up to you, you know. You can always try to fold it in. But sometimes it just gets annoying that you just want to chop, 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 chop. You know, after you kind of do what you do. So I've never done it with this way. Up, down like that. But I'm trying to see if I can do it for this video. I usually do it like this. Usually put it down like this. And then I just go poof. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? And then boom, blunt tip. You know what I mean? Type of deal. All right there, boom. See? And it needs a little bit more work, so I'm gonna just do that real quick. This way is better for me. Okay, so now that you have this done like that, you kind of go like with the palm roll method. And literally, she's a dread lockster now. And uh, yeah, as much as you you have the time for it, perfect it, take the time for it. She doesn't want dreadlocks, so I don't want to lock it up too much. But this is what, you know, straight hair or wavy hair looks like. So this is how you kind of turn straight hair or wavy hair, curly pattern to dreadlocks. This is the two different uh, looks for curly hair, basically. It's just This one is just curly curly or wavy slash wavy slash almost straight and this one is dreadlocks so this is how you get dreadlocks man it's very easy and simple watch this video whole video to learn and now i'm gonna end up combing it out you're gonna see how fast i ran we're gonna apply some conditioner in here you got all missed you're gonna do that for me now you got a job and then you're just gonna start from the bottom and start combing it out. She's got to be careful with her hair because, you know, she wants to rock it with like, like straight, not straight hair, but curly hair and different things. So I don't want to mess up her pattern or anything. Oh, sugar, that's going to take forever. I'm just going to come by this part right here and then the rest is just going to the dreadlock part. And boom. You're done. So now the dreadlocks is out. Well, the dreadlock that I made is out. The rest of the dreadlock is still here. So we're gonna start applying more water into it here. This is how you come to usually see this. With water. You just want me to do the bottom or you just want to go like this? Apply more conditioner and then more water into the hair. So the more water you apply and conditioner, just boom, it's already done. And not, much, not that much hair is lost. This is like from a hair prior, so it's just far right here is what I got. And as long as you're applying more water and conditioner, you won't lose that much hair. And I've learned that even from the past. The one time I'm trying to comb out my hair, I combed out the whole hair. And uh, yeah, you guys have mentioned to put more conditioner and water. So look how pretty that looks. You know, her hair will be preserved. Her lock will be out. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, just to demonstrate how to get dreadlocks and how to kind of comb it out at the same time. That's a, a bonus for y'all. So, hey wifey. Don't she look so pretty? She looks so pretty. Don't she look so pretty? She looks so pretty. Look at her get it. This is what she does. <laughs> she said, this is what I do. Look how pretty that looks. Boom. Curly, ooh. And dreadlocks kind of gives you that curly pattern too once you take it out. Really? Yeah. Have you seen? Have you not seen a uh, Gunther the Great when he comes out of there? How curly his hair was. Hmm. I thought it was just because his hair was naturally like that. Yeah, it is naturally like that too. But it just looks more curly when somebody comes out their hair, cause they apply like a lot of shampoo, and all that stuff, conditioner. She looks so pretty, Mama. Thank you. And looks so tired. Do you have my hair tight? Look at your eyes. She was sleeping while I was doing this, guys. So, forgive her. Sorry. Your hair tie? No, I don't have your hair tie. Yeah. I give you my hair tie for doing this video. And right, she's gonna just comb out the rest of them herself in the shower. It's better for her that way because then she can take a shower with it. But thank you guys for watching this video. You know, hit the thumbs up for my wifey. She's always helping me out on these videos. So, you know, show her some love, man. Mrs. Activers. Thank you guys for watching this video. But till next time. Oh, Lord. I was gonna say this is the first family. Oh, my God. <laughs>
Keep back the universe and create a universe. I'm Activerse. Who are you? I'm um, Mrs. Activerse. Mrs. Activerse. And we outie! Perfect. Oh wait, I moved. It's okay. Okay. Ah, ready? Oh, oh. Oh. Put it, that last carrot, babe. <laughs> the carrot.